go, the latest chapter of Friday Night Fights, the longest running Muay Thai series in North America about to be written. Hello everybody and welcome to the show. Ari Lagami alongside James Guccione, a former decorated fighter and popular fighter here on the promotion now. One of the best cut men in the business, head of the upper cut man company and the guy just always taking care of the fighters no matter what camp they come out of and James great to have you on the broadcast tonight as we take a look at Ishak Halimi taking on Maxim Tobolka a couple of 15 year olds squaring off 15 here. 15 year olds yeah we see him in full gear which we like to see protect the young guys no, no sense in them taking any more damage at that age and uh, these guys are sharp they're coming out of real solid camps and you could see it you know, right from the start. Halimi in the green trunks and the red gear fights out of Rami Elite in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania under the legendary Rami Ibrahim. And Maxim Tobolka comes out of the fight lab in Cliffside Park, New Jersey. His coach fits to his own. And Tobolka making his debut tonight. Looks pretty comfortable in there. Yeah, both these guys, are, you know, they're showing some Chris Muay Thai. You know, for some young guys, they're... Uh they're coming out strong. Tobolka wearing the black with gold lettering. He's five foot nine. Halimi just five four, so significant height advantage here for Maxim Tobolka in his first fight. Halimi at one and two. Yeah, bo both guys came in underweight, under the, uh, the, the agreed upon weight. They both equally came in at a lower weight, which was uh, which was nice to see. You know, no straight, sense making the young guys cut any weight. Straight right got in there for Halimi. Pretty active first round here between these two 15-year-olds making yep. their way up the Muay Thai ranks. Max is really long and he's using that jab. You know, if he, if he starts to keep that jab going, he, you know, he could keep his shack away. Nice job by Halimi there. Ate the low leg kick and came right in to uh, Tabulka's bread basket there. Got him in the clinch. Nice looking counter there. Nice push kick. Nice teep from Tabulka as James Guccio just alluded to. Good first round here. Junior's looking nice pretty knee. polished here, yeah. Yeah, nice knee. Stuck it right in there. He released and was, uh, came right back down to position. There's the end of round number one between Ishak Halimi and Maxim Tobolka. What a world of difference for Halimi in this, his now fourth B-class fight. We saw him make his debut on this very promotion back in March of 2018. Lost the unan unanimous decision to Tristan McLeod. Looked uncomfortable in the first round, then recovered nicely and settled in. But just three fights later, looks like a completely different young man in the ring. Looks much, much more comfortable. And when you're fighting under Rami Ibrahim, yeah, you, Rami, you gotta Rami get comfortable quick. Guys, yeah, Rami keeps these guys strong camp. You know, he's real smart about his fighters. He protects his fighters, which is really good. And he's got a, he's got a lot of younger guys, and they, they really stay active. And you're our ring announcer, Connor Hall, alludes to the international flavor of this fight. Halimi with roots in Afghanistan, while Tabolka comes to us originally from Belarus, but now calls Fort Lee, New Jersey, his home, and his home camp, the Fight Lab in Cliffside Park. Both guys are eager, coming to the center of the ring. Halimi, yeah, back, Joel ready to roll. Back Joel. They both came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, back it up. Our third man in the All ring, right. Joel Becker, not having any of that. Well, like to see the aggression from both of these guys. Yeah, there we see. I, you know, I like to see Max use that jab more. You know, he's uh, he's putting it out there, but he's not he's not throwing it solid. If he would nice switching knees there by Halimi, but Tabolka comes right back. He's up against the ropes, but he's still working. Good action from both young men. Joel Becker will break him up. This modified rules tie boxing here. No elbows in effect. No elbows in play, I should say. I like. I like the timing on Joel Becker's uh, break. You know, don't don't let that sloppy clinch go any longer than it has to. You know, break him up and let it let him restart. Left hook drive by Halimi as Tabolka backs away. Round two of a schedule three here. A couple of 15-year-olds doing battle on Friday nice night leg fights. Kick. Next leg kick. You know, Max has got to be careful weaving his head that low. You know, he's put he's putting his head into a low range. And what about Halimi's strategy here, James, coming right in on the taller man, not, not, not letting him get much Closing extension. Yeah. Closing that distance right away. Straight right to the body. Halimi tries the body kick to follow up, but Tabolka is ready. Nice play, nice response there from Maxim. Dumps Halimi right on the canvas. Nice hook. And Halimi comes back with a left hook. Back and forth we go here. Left to the body try by Halimi.
And though it's only this is fourth fight for Halim, he was wearing the green trunks. What a difference that can make from fighting a guy who's in his first fight, Absolutely. James. And that yep. you can see already the the, the previous composure. experience that he's had. Yes, yeah. great composure he's shown. And some reddening on the as a straight right lands a right hook, I should say, for Halimi. Yep. Combination coming forward. Halimi's doing really well with his hands. I like to see him throw those punches a little more. Halimi fired off a low leg kick there as Tabolka started to gain some momentum. Nice That's round. the end of round two. Nice round. Really nice exhibition there. Yeah, Hal Halimi's getting Halimi. off really well with his hands. I, I like to see him uh, use them more and not, not go right into the clinch. Maybe take a, you know, take a second, sit back, and throw his hands a little more. And Joe Becker had a word for the Rami Elite corner there. Not sure, maybe Halimi not giving enough space on the break, perhaps. Coming out a little too early from yeah, the corner. Yeah, when he's breaking it, I think he wants he wants a good separation on these guys. He wants well, Joel Becker likes to exert his authority inside the squared he circle. Does. He does a good job of it. He does a good job of it. He's ref many of my fights. Many of my fights. James Guccione, my broadcast partner this evening from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Decorated B-class fighter, amateur fighter on Friday night fights for many years, a fan favorite. It's the wars you had with Chris Tapia, Chris your good Tapia, friend. Yeah. And I remember a few years ago on your birthday, you scored a knockout win against Manny Cochran. Yeah, that was a, that was a great fight. He didn't answer the bell. Well, that's what you think. I, was, I don't know yeah. if Manny feels the same way. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. <laughs> Underway in round three nice as Halimi shot. lands a stiff left hook to the body here. Yeah, those those hands I was talking about. I, I like to see him, you know, let them go a little more before he gets into that clinch. The Volka on his heels. Trying to get extended, but Halimi will not allow it. Yeah, and he's closing the distance right away. He's, you know, he's he's doing what he's got to do for the taller fighter. He's not he's not staying at the end of his range. And Halimi came forward with the jumping teep, didn't connect, but he had the right hand there to stick out nice at dump. the end. Now a dump on the other side. Tabolka puts Halimi down. Hook to the chin there, look like. So Boca knows he's got to keep the distance, and he's, he's trying with the teeps, and when he lands them, he's doing, a, he's doing a good job, but, you know, Halimi just closes that distance right away. There's Doc Halimi leaning on the taller man, Maxim Taboka, and you got to figure the nerves running through Maxim's body, and this is his first official yeah. fight. Yeah, 15 years old, fighting in, fighting in the big stage here for Friday Night Fights. It's early first fight in the night. We've got a great crowd here. As usual on the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. Body lock try by Halimi. Tabulka trying everything he can to fight this young man off. And Halimi really exerting his will right now on the bigger man. Slow leg kick lands and Halimi nice follows that with right. a right, yeah. yeah. Leverage on the ropes, Joel Becker slapping the, great, slapping the great glove job away. By Joel Becker. Low leg kick again, lands for Halimi. And a straight nice right. Knee. Big time finish for Ishak Halimi in his second Friday night fights appearance. Like he was great born fight. again, James. Yeah. That was outstanding. He's actually scheduled to fight again tomorrow in New York. Halimi. Yes, he is. Is he that is. right? Robbie keeps these guys active, and he's, he's, he's got another match set for tomorrow. <laughs> so. Well, he's got to be yeah. feeling pretty good after six minutes of yeah. work that he just put in right yeah, he here. Did, you know, he did a great job. He, he, he worked, you know, he closed the distance with the taller fighter. He did a great job not letting him use that uh, distance. So is Halimi looking to even up his record at 2-2. Two and two. Maxim Tavolka looking for the W in his debut. It will go to the judges' scorecards. Is Halimi representing Rami Elite in Philadelphia. I really Maxim. look forward to seeing the next fight from uh, Max, you know, Maxim over there, Tolini, because he, he, he fought a great fight for his first fight, very composed, especially for a 15-year-old. Zabolka, absolutely right, James Guccione, also 15 years of age, and shows the respect to Rami Ibrahim. Is Halimi does likewise. Good sportsmanship out of both fits, camps. Fits to his own, that's one of the great things about the sport of Muay Thai, James. We talk about it all the time on the broadcast, just Always great sportsmanship from both corners. So the judges' scorecards are in the hands of our ring announcer, Connor Hall. We go up to him for the official decision.
Well, no surprise there, James Guccione, Iskak Halimi, a unanimous decision winner over Maxim Tabulka. And Maxim, his first fight officially in the squared circle. He looked good, but Halimi really took that first loss here on Friday Night Fights a year ago to heart, and he looks much improved in just a year's time. Yeah, he, he looked excellent. He looked, he looked excellent.